Today we're going to be detailing and discussing Spider-Man, and the game that is going to be releasing on PlayStation 4 that everyone is so hyped about. But today's news story is actually regarding how a lot of people are extremely upset over a puddle and how it changed in this game, causing a massive backlash from the internet and the gaming community. Welcome to another episode of The News You Missed, the V-Game News Show that recaps what happened in the V-Game industry that might possibly affect the industry at large, but more importantly affect you. Now ladies and gentlemen, everyone's been hyped for Spider-Man games. Some of them have been good, some of them have been bad. Traditionally, a lot of video game superhero games are very negative due to the fact that they're rushed in development and pushed out just to coincide a movie and garner some sales. But the Spider-Man series has been an exception to this rule of thumb, producing very, very good open world games that have procured quite a bit of excitement from the community, especially gamers worldwide. A lot of people like to play Spider-Man, act like Spider-Man. Spider-Man swing through New York City. It's a cool, cool concept, cool game. I'm with it. And the new Spider-Man looks better than ever. But there's a massive problem. Recently, we've gotten to see more gameplay, more footage, things like that. And a lot of people have noticed that the gameplay that we're seeing now looks very, very different to what people have seen in previous E3 reveals, previous gameplay trailers, things like that. And a lot of people are quite upset about that. And one massive thing is that there's a puddle that has been taken out of one scene, and this kind of became the epicenter of this. There's some lighting missing, and some shadows, some different blurring effects, and things like that. Yeah, it definitely looks different. But the fact that people got extremely triggered over a puddle is, is very very funny of course this became the center of attention for a little bit and became a massive meme and got joked on quite a lot and it's quite silly and you can see some of those jokes over on twitter and in various locations but if you guys were curious why people are joking about something called puddle gate or talking about spider-man with puddles or you saw the back of a playstation box and it had a small puddle on it there's the joke and that's what's going on the long and the short of this is that a lot of people feel that they were tricked into being excited for this game, but when they found out what it finally actually looked like, they weren't going to be that excited for the game. And that's pretty crazy at the end of the day as well, because, I mean, come on, man. If the game comes out and you just don't like the way it looks and the gameplay and things like that, you didn't invest a lot of money in it. Perhaps you hyped yourself up. Perhaps you were extremely excited for the Spider-Man that was shown, but that's not the game that you're going to end up getting because that's an E3 teaser. That's what things could have been. That would be like a lot of people being upset at Wind Waker when they saw the Ocarina of Time demo where Link was fighting Ganon. That didn't happen. Wait, wait, hang on a second. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, so people oftentimes don't learn their lessons because developers do this quite a lot. They will show off something. It will look incredibly great and then they have to scale it down for the console release. This is releasing on a PlayStation, a PlayStation 4 and a PlayStation 4 Pro. There's no questioning that there's going to be a lot of power behind that to generate this game and this game looks incredible even if it is slightly different. There's no questioning that. But the point is that I think what they show off is ideally what they would like to see happen and then when it releases they have to scale it down a bit, they have to make it work in a way to where you have a tangible frame rate, you have the ability to play the game in a decent manner. I mean, I don't want to be playing a gorgeous looking Spider-Man game at 23 frames a second. I just don't. I'm sorry. I don't care if you consider it to be more cinematic or not. I just don't enjoy that. But that is basically how Puddlegate came about to be and is uh, ridiculous. Mm, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. One thing I wanted to note though is what you're seeing right now is Aki sending me a very, very nice webcam. This is a camera that's a fixed right up there on my monitor and it's recording what's going on. It's a 1080p webcam. It does pretty good and I'd have to say for webcam standards and streaming and things like that it's a really really nice addition to my setup. They sent it to me for free and I just wanted to let you know about it and I'm testing it out so the footage you see here has all been the Aki webcam up there. So if you like it make sure to take the links in the description below and they'll get you right there. Now as for me, I've been your host pretty Marion, I'm signing out. As always, good gaming. God bless. I want you to like and share my video. Make sure other people know about good old Puddlegate. Tell me, are you excited for Spider-Man or has the change in the effects, the lighting, the way things are in the game now?
now, are they enough to deter you from buying this game? And again, I would really like to hear your responses in the comments down below. Also, if you dislike this video, you can go ahead and leave me a big thumbs down if you're really into puddles and just the puddle reduction has really upset you. Other than that, you can click that subscribe button as I'm on the road to a million subscribers, and I'll be back here recapping another set of stories, probably coming up Monday and Friday. So, welcome back if you're coming back from Labor Day, and if you had a great time, you just let me know. Now, I'll let the end card slate take it away, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of The News You Missed.